Well now let's load the mission into the copter. We're in the flight data screen. Let's go to the flight planner. If you'll notice, I've got uh, the copter connected. We have to have it connected in order to load the mission into the copter. I'm connected via the USB cable. You could also be connected via the 3DR radio. So we're going to right click on the Google map. We're going to go file load save, load uh, waypoint file. Somewhere in here we'll find the gem that we had saved from before. There it is. We'll click on that and open it. And there's our mission. Now let's write this to the copter. So I'm going to write. That was very quick. Now let's to make sure that this in fact is what we wanted to fly. So we'll click the chevrons on the waypoints. We'll move this up a little bit so we can see what we've got. And sure enough, waypoint one, waypoint two, and a return to launch. All there, just like we had indicated before. Uh, we can also read it back from the copter, just to make sure. And uh, we'll also uh, reset home to loaded coordinates. We're going to say no to that. And yep, there it is. Looks good. So we've got the mission loaded in the EEPROM. And now that it's there, it will never forget that mission until we clear it or write over it again with another mission. So we'll be able to fly this mission by setting up an auto mode. We could do it today, next week, or next year.